All right, so now we're going to turn the engine over. Now that the uh, stator and the plate are completely removed, we're going to take these motor mounts off. Grab a piece of wood. Instead of uh, flipping it all the way over so it's resting on the pistons, we're just going to flip it part of the way over and have it rest on. Side of the block. <clears throat> About like so. These are 16 millimeter. This last one you want to hold up on it because once this comes off it's not going to be resting on that anymore so you got to support it all right we have to take the breaker bar to that one So now we got our breaker bar on there. There we go. Next we're going to take our pistons off, so we're going to start by removing the circlip, get yourself a little pick tool, Okay, so once you remove the front circlip, then go ahead and remove the back circlip. Now, if you're going to be reusing the piston or something, you would want to be very careful to not damage any part of it. But since we're not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, so I'm just going to take a socket because I don't have a piston pulling tool. You can easily make one with a quarter inch threaded rod or a long quarter inch bolt. Um, you can find YouTube videos to show you how to do that. I was going to do that, but um, since I'm not re reusing any of this stuff, I'm just going to kind of bang them out. But normally you wouldn't want to like bang on it. You would want to softly kind of press them out. But like I said, don't really care because I'm not reusing it. Also a good idea to put 
safety glasses on. Just to make sure you don't get a circlet popped up in your eye. All right, so now the socket's no longer able to press against the wrist pin because the the socket is just hitting into the needle bearing. So I'm gonna get a skinnier socket. Yeah, it's also too skinny, so I'm gonna have to find something longer to press against it. All right, so that's how you take the wrist pin out. I just use this. You need something that'll press through the needle bearing, but able to catch the lip on this. So to explain what I mean, there's your needle bearing. Your needle bearing is in there. Your wrist pin is like that. So you need something skinny enough to go into the needle bearing but still able to catch the lip on the wrist pin so it can push it out. So you don't actually need a special puller tool because it's not a lot of force. So you can use just a skinny, rounded, smooth piece of metal, anything you have that'll help you press these out. It doesn't take a lot of force. So that's all there is to it. If you want to reuse these, you can. Most piston kits come with new wrist pins but you can reuse them if you want do the same thing for the other two pistons